They called it impossible. Russia called it the MiG-41. A fighter jet so fast, it doesn't dodge missiles. It outruns time itself. Mach 4.3, four times the speed of sound. A machine designed not to fight in the sky, but to erase it. But here's the question. No one's answering. If this jet was completed in 2025, why did the world only hear whispers? Because the MiG-41 wasn't built to impress, it was built to vanish. Sixth generation stealth, anti-satellite missiles, laser interceptors capable of burning hypersonic warheads mid-flight. This isn't an aircraft, it's a declaration. Air superiority is no longer negotiable. And the West? They're scrambling. Ilya Tarasenko stood in front of RT cameras in January 2021, his expression unreadable. The Director General of RSK MiG had just revealed what defense analysts thought was propaganda. A jet that could operate in near space, equipped with anti-missile lasers, capable of transforming into an unmanned drone. Reporters laughed. Engineers didn't. Tarasenko's team had spent three decades refining the PKDP program, building on the legacy of the MiG-31 interceptor and the abandoned MiG-701 projects from the 1990s. Design finalized by 2019. Research completed in 2020. First production unit promised by 2025. He wasn't speculating, he was warning. Because while the US and China chased dogfight supremacy, Russia engineered something crueler. A jet designed to kill before the enemy knows it's there. The MiG-41 wasn't designed for air-to-air -air combat. It was designed to hunt reconnaissance planes, intercept hypersonic missiles, and destroy satellites. Speed isn't an advantage. It's an execution method. Wind tunnel models spun silently in Moscow labs, each iteration a ghost learning to scream. Most stealth jets hide. The MiG-41 evaporates. Low radar cross-section. Heat signature reduction. Electronic warfare systems so advanced they don't jam enemy radar. They convince it nothing's there. The aircraft's aerodynamic shape isn't just sleek. It's a physics equation solved in titanium. But here's the cruel irony. Stealth tech makes you invisible. Mach 4 speed makes you inevitable. By the time enemy systems detect the MiG-41, it's already 2,300 miles per hour ahead of their missiles. Radar locks fail. Countermeasures arrive too late. The target is destroyed before the threat is processed. This is why the US Brave Fighter Wish began developing next-gen reconnaissance platforms in 2016. Not to spy on Russia. To outrun it. They failed. The MiG-41's mission profile targets those exact aircraft. High-altitude, long-range reconnaissance jets developed by Washington and Beijing. It doesn't defend Russian airspace. It erases opposing intelligence networks. And the engines? Twin turbojets, each pumping 35,000 pounds of thrust. Not for power. For precision at impossible speed, they built peace faster than they built control. Titanium burned orange under desert test ranges. Progress glowing like regret. Most interceptors chase missiles. The MiG-41 ambushes them. The MPK-RDP system, a multifunctional long-range interceptor missile that deploys multiple sub-missiles mid-flight. Not one warhead. A swarm. Each calibrated to intercept hypersonic weapons traveling faster than Mach 5. Here's the nightmare scenario. An enemy launches a hypersonic strike. Traditional defenses fail. The missile's too fast, too maneuverable. But the MiG-41 climbs to 45,000 meters, releases the MPKRDP, and floods the sky with sub-munitions. The hypersonic weapon doesn't get shot down. It gets erased by probability. And then there's the anti-satellite capability. The MiG-41 can carry missiles designed to destroy orbital assets, GPS satellites, communication networks, spy platforms, one sortie, multiple kills, infrastructure collapse. This isn't air defense. It's strategic amputation. They didn't design a jet. They designed obsolescence for everything else. Smoke trails carved white scars across blue sky. Beauty written in violence. Anti-missile lasers. Not experimental, integrated. Tarasenko confirmed it in 2021. 
the MiG-41 would carry directed energy weapons capable of intercepting missiles mid-flight. No explosives, no kinetic impact, just photon speed obliteration. Here's why that matters. Traditional countermeasures rely on outmaneuvering threats. Lasers don't maneuver, they arrive. Enemy missile locks on. Laser burns through its guidance system in microseconds. Incoming barrage? Multiple beams fire simultaneously. The MiG-41 doesn't evade. It deletes threats from existence. And the power requirements? Solved using variants of the Isdelia 30 engines developed for the Su-57. Engines that don't just propel, they generate. This is what sixth generation warfare looks like. Kinetic and energy weapons fused into one airframe. But lasers have one weakness. Atmospheric distortion at low altitudes. That's why the MiG-41 operates between the stratosphere and troposphere, altitudes where air is thin enough for uninterrupted beam propagation. It doesn't fly. It orbits the edge of space. Then the radar stopped, and so did history. Because the MiG-41 isn't just a weapon, it's a reset button for aerial dominance. Every air force in the world is now playing catch up to a jet they didn't know existed until it was already operational. Engineers whispered equations like prayers. Math transformed into metal, cold and absolute. Tarasenko dropped one final detail. The MiG-41 can be converted into an unmanned drone. Not remotely piloted. Autonomous. AI-driven combat algorithms making kill decisions in milliseconds. No hesitation. No fatigue. No mercy. Human pilots are vulnerable. They black out at extreme G-forces. They need oxygen, climate control, ejection systems. Remove the pilot, and the airframe becomes exponentially deadlier. An unmanned MiG-41 could pull maneuvers that would liquefy a human body. Sustained 15 G-turns. Vertical climbs into near space. Dogfight algorithms optimized not for survival, but for maximum lethality. And the cost savings? Massive. No ejection seats. No life support. No pilot training programs, just airframes, AI, and relentless execution. This is the future Russia's betting on. Fleets of autonomous MiG-41s patrolling contested airspace, hunting satellites, intercepting hypersonics, all while human operators watch from bunkers 1,000 miles away. The question isn't whether this technology works, it's whether anyone can stop it once deployed. They called it a fighter jet. The Pentagon called it an existential threat. Blueprints aged under fluorescent lights. Each line a prophecy inked in consequence. Rapid response. The MiG-41 can redeploy across continental distances in minutes. Threat detected in the Arctic? Interceptor arrives from Siberia before NATO scrambles jets. Long range interception. Cruise speed of Mark 3, 2,300 mm sustained. That's Los Angeles to New York in 90 minutes. Moscow to Berlin in 45. Increased survivability. Enemy surface-to-air missiles can't track what moves faster than their lock-on sequences. By the time the system calculates trajectory, the MiG-41 is already gone. Enhanced air superiority. The jet doesn't contest airspace, it owns it absolutely. Ground operations proceed uncontested because enemy air assets are destroyed before takeoff. Reduced reaction time. Opposing forces have seconds to respond to an aircraft that crosses battle zones in minutes. Decision-making collapses under the weight of speed. This isn't just a fighter jet. It's a doctrine killer. Every aerial strategy written in the last 40 years becomes obsolete the moment the MiG-41 enters the theater. And the production timeline? First units completed in 2025, meaning operational squadrons could already be flying missions will never hear about stealth hides you. Speed saves you. The MiG-41 does neither. As of July 2016, no official data existed on the MiG-41's capabilities. Everything was speculation. Analysts predicted service entry in the mid-2020s or 2030s. They were wrong by a decade. Development accelerated in silence. Design finalized in 2019. Research completed in 2020. Russian Ministry of Defense selected the most promising project and greenlit production. Why the secrecy? 
because revealing capabilities invites countermeasures. The longer the West remained ignorant, the wider Russia's operational advantage. And it worked. While NATO invested billions in F-35 upgrades and 6th gen concepts, Russia deployed a functional Mach 4 interceptor with anti-satellite missiles and laser defenses. The intelligence failure isn't just embarrassing, it's strategically catastrophic. The MiG-41 doesn't need to be the best fighter jet in the world, it just needs to arrive first. Mach 4.3, anti-satellite missiles, laser interceptors, autonomous combat modes, near space operations. The MiG-41 isn't a technological leap, it's a generational extinction event for legacy air forces. Every dogfight doctrine, every air superiority strategy, every defense budget allocated to 20th century airframes, rendered obsolete by a jet designed to operate where no other aircraft can follow. And the West's response? Still in R&D, still testing prototypes, still debating budgets while Russia's Mach 4 Ghost is already patrolling the edge of space. This isn't just about one jet. It's about the recalibration of global power. Whoever controls the stratosphere controls reconnaissance, communication, and the ability to intercept anything launched from below. The MiG-41 doesn't fight for air superiority. It redefines what superiority means. So here's the question they're not asking in Washington. If Russia's already flying this, what else haven't they revealed? Subscribe so you don't miss the next shocking chapter.